I made a fake one. Will we see a Yellow Ranger up here in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury? That is the question that I am asking you guys today. Now, Dino Fury is one of the few seasons that we have that there is no Yellow Ranger. Now, I believe in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, we could get a seventh Ranger. It would make a lot of sense. Now, I don't believe that we will get any more Rangers than one because we already have six returning rangers and since there's only 10 episodes it would not make a lot of sense to give us you know four or five extra rangers that would be um, a lot of fighting for screen time and it would hard to develop any characters especially the new ones now we know that we are going to be getting a mighty morphin power rangers reunion special for the 30th anniversary now we do not know if that crosses over with Dino Fury. However, there's a lot of talk that we could be getting this character named Yen, who is the daughter of Trini. So when you think about that, the daughter of Trini, who is Trini? She was the Yellow Ranger. Now, just my thoughts, maybe we have her start out in the Mighty Morphin reunion special, and then she makes her way over to Cosmic Fury. I don't know, I'm just speculating, but I think it would make a lot of sense to give us a seventh Ranger. We do deserve some new characters going into Cosmic Fury. We are going into space, meaning that we should have some new allies, possibly some new villains, even though we know that Lord Zed, an OG villain, is returning again. I'm excited to see who he brings to the table. If it's either new characters or old villains, I really don't care as long as the show is good. But what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think we could be seeing a Yellow Ranger in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury? I think it could make a lot of sense if you just gave us one. I think you could give us some character growth, especially if you grew the character in this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers special. We still don't know if the special has anything to do with Cosmic Fury, if it's own separate thing, or if Cosmic Fury is like 10 episodes long, but then there's like two episodes that are part of it that are for Mighty Morphin. I don't know. And that's what's kind of cool about being a fan right now is we're in the dark on so much. And for once in our lives with Power Rangers, we don't know what's going on forever. At least for the last 10 years, we could tell you, you know, right within six months after the old season uh, premiered the finale, you could tell what the next Sentai adaptation was going to be. So it's pretty cool that we don't know anything. We are in the dark, but I kind of like it because I got sick of knowing everything all of the time. You know, between the international spoilers and the leaks, we're still getting leaks from the fans, but it seems like it comes at convenient times for Hasbro. Almost like they're leaking the information like little crumbs a month by month to keep the fans entertained but we really still don't know anything but what are your guys's thoughts about a seventh ranger possibly a yellow ranger let me know your thoughts in the comments speaking of the comments let's see what the fans are saying Mr. and Mrs. Clifford Hendricks said, it makes the most sense to have Yen, Trini's daughter, as the Cosmic Fury Ranger. Now, she's going to be like every Ranger before her. She is scared and she doesn't want to be a hero, nor does she want the responsibility. Oh, I kind of like that. And is that why we bring in the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to help her on her quest to be a Power Ranger. I kinda like that. Maybe switching it up, like she's a teenager with attitude, but she really doesn't wanna do it. Kinda like in Day of the Dumpster, the first episode where all the Rangers leave, they're like, nah, get real. Maybe it's something more like that, where she's like, no, I'm not a Power Ranger. Maybe she knows 
her mom is a Power Ranger and she doesn't want to fall into her footsteps. And most likely Trini is going to be gone. So maybe she has bad memories or vibes from her mom being a Power Ranger. Very interesting. Coville said, I hope Zach is the father or even Billy. Also, I wonder, will this even go as far as to using some of David's idea from the Quantum Continuum story? I'm super excited. Yes, I would love to see some concepts of what David Yost is working on in this show, especially if they're not going to give him his own project, even though I would love and hey, he is there and he said that he was talking to Hasbro about his project months ago and now he's working with them. What are the chances that later on we could see his project? Dylan says she could be the key to stopping Lord Zed and every old villain. Oh, yeah. Do they bring back old villains? That would be fun. It could be really cool to see this character come on and help the team. They're probably going to need them because we're going to be out in space and they're going to need every team up, every ranger that they can get because Lord Zed is thinking of a master plan. And this Lord Zed in Dino Fury slash Cosmic Fury is just so much more badass than the one I remember. Like the suit is cool. The only thing I'd say back then is better is maybe the voice actor, but I don't really hate the voice of Zed these days. I know some fans are like upset because it's not Robert Axelrod, RIP by the way, but hey, he's a character that we will accept and love. And I thought they've done a really good job with Lord Zed. Crispy Life said, I think we could adapt uh, the, the shoe commander from Q Ranger in Cosmic Fury and give him purple ranger powers while Tarek becomes the red ranger. Ooh. That would be cool. Our seventh ranger be a purple ranger, but then that would make sense for Tarek to be the purple ranger then. Man, that's interesting. And then when we're talking about colors, does Zato remain red or do they go with that whole white ranger uh, kind of storyline suit at the end? I don't think that they will use that suit at the end of Dino Fury, but maybe that's a little sign telling us that we are going to be getting a color change up. Living Water Ministry says, I can't wait to see the new MMPR series. Uh, it will probably be in 2024. Um, I don't know what you're talking about because in 2024, you're getting a Jonathan Entwistle project, maybe an animated series. I don't know. Nothing's been confirmed yet, but I know we're getting a Jonathan Entwistle project in 2024, but I hear it's not going to be based off Mighty Morphin. I hear it will be its own thing. M Ranger said, what if the Rafconians, Amelia, Zato, and Ion are the key to stopping Lord Zed once and for all? Let me know, please. Well, if the last season taught us anything, I think it's that they are all key pieces into stopping Lord Zed, not just one person. You hear that, Ion? <laughs> Dreamy Creative DJ said, it would be cool. Uh, Yen could be the yellow Cosmic Fury Ranger and the seventh Ranger teaming up with Mighty Morphin and Fern after all. Ooh, could Fern still be a Power Ranger? That would be legit. Blaze said the helmets are the same as the Dino Fury ones and there is no yellow Ranger. So what helmet will she get? I mean... I bet they could duplicate uh, a green or a pink one and then just paint it yellow. I don't think that would be that big of a deal. Um, someone's asking who is Yen. Yen is the character that we think we could be getting. She could be a seventh ranger. She could be the daughter of Trini. There was a casting call months ago looking for a female lead. And in the script, the character's name was Yen. Now, that could definitely be changed. We see that all of the time. Maybe her name's something different now, but the character could still remain the same. Colin says, maybe. Yeah, we don't know. We just have a lot of fun with these videos. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for holding down the channel. 
We love you and appreciate you. You guys are the reason why this channel is running the way it is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. Let's give a shout out to our Gold Ranger members, Dead Echo, X-Ray, and Anime King. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.